have to give sexual favors just to have work done. Public housing residents took to the streets this afternoon asking the public to stand with them in getting justice and repairs to the housing units. Three public housing maintenance workers are being sued, accused by 11 female tenants of demanding sex in exchange for making repairs. Tired of talking, we want action. While they shouted their messages, three members of Communities United met with Commissioner Paul Graziano. They had a long list of demands. The windows, the heating problem, the gas leaks, the rodents, the bed bugs, the roots, the rats, everything. The lighters, just like she said, the plumbing. Residents say they wanted a timeline from Graziano, but he did not give one. What we do have are uh, site visits that will be coming up for all public housing complexes. They'll spend three hours in each public housing complex throughout the city. We will gather folks so they can uh, show their issues, but we didn't get a commitment on the operating budget on what needs to be done. Graziano declined an interview with 11 News, but his office issued this statement. HABC Executive Director Graziano is aware of the allegations of sexual abuse at Gilmore Homes and finds them extremely disturbing. HABC considers any employee actions that would subject its residents to sexual harassment to be reprehensible. Now, this week, the McCullough Homes and the Gilmore Homes should be getting those visits that uh, John Comer spoke of in the piece earlier. We, and that should happen this week. Reporting live, Lisa Robinson, WBAL TV 11 News.